Hey guys, it's makeup basket time. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have a bunch of new subscribers, so if this is the first makeup basket you're seeing, it is what it sounds like. Every week, every Friday, I post a video with my makeup basket for the upcoming week. A lot of people do this on Mondays, but I like to keep it fresh since usually if I'm going out or doing something fun, it's on the weekends. So if I do it on Monday, by the weekend, I'm bored of my makeup. So I usually branch out. So this is just a way for me to make sure that I'm using everything that I have. I rediscover a lot of things and also to make sure I'm using stuff that I just purchased. So uh, let's get started. I am going to start with lips. I like to mix it up sometimes. Um, I Let's start with what I'm wearing. I have this Tarte Glitzy Lip Surgeon's Lip Luster. Um, this is really pretty. This this came in a give me some lip lip sampler. <laughs> give me some lip lip sampler from Sephora. It was like 25 bucks and it is really pretty. It gives a nice natural glow, but it is shimmery. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's very pretty and the color is glitzy and the packaging is just so so pretty as usual. I, you guys know I love packaging. The next thing I have for lips I'm just trying to get organized. I have like a very small workspace here. Is one of the new Maybelline Buff lipsticks. This is in Nude Lust. I absolutely love this lipstick. It is gorgeous. It's just like the perfect nude. It does have some like pink undertones um, that warm it up. It's really, really pretty. I also have a, you know, I need something deep and vampy. So this is my Maybelline Color Elixir and Amethyst Potion. See, it's not as scary as it looks and it does sheer out some. Very, very pretty. I like the color elixirs, and I do have a video coming up with the L'Oreal Extraordinaire blah, blah, blah. I don't know if they're lipsticks, lipstick, uh, lip glosses, whatever, but they're very similar to these. Um, so I'll let you know my thoughts and my comparisons on those. I also have, um, the rest are just like crayons. This is L'Oreal Le Matte in Matte For Me. This is just like a pinky red lip crayon. These came out in the summer. They were all the rage. I needed to get like almost all of them and then I stopped using them. I also have from that same lip sampler from Sephora. This is from Bite Beauty and Rhubarb. Beautiful. I've only worn this like once, but I really, really, it's there at the top. I really like their formulation. Love their packaging. It's very similar to like NARS. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be using this. Really can't wait. I also have my Revlon Color Burst Burst Matte Balm in Standout. Well, I have like a lot of reds. Can tell what kind of mood I'm in. It's right there at the top. Really pretty. Those are new also. And then I can't swatch this because it's not even open. But this is one of the new Wet n Wild. Um, of course, there's like a, a sticker here. But it's called Ready or Not. Ugh. And this is one of the Mega Slicks. Let's get to the English side. Bomb Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. So it's ready or not, so it is more like a reddish color. I did hear that these are not very true to color. Um, so what you see is not what you get. But I have that. And then, I really don't know what kind of order I'm going in. Let's start with my face. I recently hauled this also. This is new from Neutrogena, Nourishing Longwear Makeup. And I have this in, I feel like, in Nude. 40 and this is supposed to be 12 hour makeup so if you guys want to see me do like a put this to the test for 12 hours definitely let me know and I'll go ahead and do that but I have this foundation that's the only foundation I have I'm really going to try and use that um, I also have my new Alme Smart Shade Concealer and Brightener and this is in Light 200 this is new also for my haul I really like it because it has a concealer and a brightener so you have this like color correcting peach side and then something that's supposed to brighten up your under eye area. So I can't wait to try that. And again, I will be doing reviews or not again, cause I didn't say it before, but I will be doing a review on all of these new products um, in a few weeks. This, the next item is also new L'Oreal True Match Mineral Gentle Mineral Powder. This is just a pressed powder basically. I have it in buff beige. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I'm excited to try this also. I will link uh, the haul down below so you guys can see that in the info bar. 
I have this concealer. It is the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer. This is in light. I do have this in the next one up medium. And I was going to return this, but I used this earlier um, a day or two ago and really, really liked it actually. So we'll see. I'm going to be using that and trying that out. Then for my cheeks, I'm going to be using my Selma Hayek Nuance Cheek Trio in Pink 290. And this is a flawless mineral cheek trio. And we have the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. Very, very pretty. So I will be using that also. And again, I will let you guys know what I think. I just thought this was so interesting because no one ever talks about Nuance. She is Latina like I am. So I thought I'd give that line a little bit of love. Even though I did try like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. I hated it. I also have from the Balm Hot Mama. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful blush. Beautiful. And then I have the Instain blush in Hound's Tooth. Love this as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not, but that's a little bit better, I think. Really pretty, like pinky mauve color. Um, I have swatches and all that kind of stuff in the haul that I did. I also have this new product from Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio. And this is in Just Pinched Pink. And it is just like a little stick that you do this. And I guess you're supposed to be able to put this maybe on your lips also. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I am crazy. But uh, you can. Here, let me just add a little bit now. Just because it can't hurt, right? Yeah. It is pretty. You know, I don't really like having to use my fingers with cream products. You know, this isn't, it looks like it might be convenient on the go and you don't need a brush, but then it's like, what do I do if I don't have a tissue? Which I don't. Then I have my Hourglass Ambient Powder. This is in Radiant Light. Um, I really do like this. I've been trying to use it. I had stopped using it for a few weeks, maybe even like three weeks, because I just wasn't sure how to use this. But I saw a video from Glam Moms, um, and she did a really good job explaining it. So if I remember, I will link that down below. Um, she has the, the trio that was out over the holidays. Um, so she had a really good review. And then I have, oh, let me show this. Wow. Let me drop my lipstick. Um, I am going to be trying my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I have not used this in a long time. I do have the brow bar to go and I used that today. One of my subscribers, well, I don't know if she's a subscriber, but she did comment um, and suggested that I use a powder. It's really hard for me to use a powder just because my eyebrows have a lot of sparse areas from over plucking when I was younger. So they're still kind of growing in, but not really even growing in anymore. So the powder, you know, it's hard for me to use a lighter powder because it doesn't show up. Like it just doesn't show up whatsoever. And then when I use a darker powder, sorry, the sun is like full force all of a sudden. Then when I use a darker powder, it's like, bam, you got black eyebrows. So I really tried blending it out. Um, but I used the brow bar to go and I figured this week I will go ahead and try using this little guy. And then what do I have? I guess I just have eyes left. So for eyeliners, well, let me do my mascaras. I have my Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes. This is the one with the lower and upper lash um, wands. So this is the one for the upper. It's just, sorry, this is the one for the upper. It's just, you know, a regular looking wand. And then the lower one is smaller. And I don't know, I'm not in love with this mascara. I do like the lower one, like it definitely makes it easy to get in there and get your lower lashes without getting all over your concealer or all over your face like I just did. But um, but yeah, you know, it does, definitely makes it easy, but the upper lash, the upper lash one doesn't really do anything, but I have it and I thought I'd just keep using it. I also have this Sumptu Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara from Estee Lauder. This little guy is obviously like a little deluxe sample, but check out that massive wand. And I do like this mascara a lot. I have three liners, gonna try to keep it simple just because I've had some problems with my left eye. So I gotta keep it simple, <laughs> but this is my e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick and it is in brown. So we have a brown liner on this end and then we just have like this gold champagne-y. I don't even know if you guys can see color on the bottom and that's just like a shadow stick. So I have that and then I have my NYX 
This says eyebrow. I'll never understand why because it's blue. It's in sapphire, but it's eye eyebrow pencil. Really pretty. I just love that for like my lower lash line. And then I have my Revlon Photo Ready Kajal liner. It's a double liner. And this is in purple rain. And we have a purple end and then like this creamy colored end for your waterline to brighten. And then last but not least, I have two palettes. I have, you know this one guys, this is the Kat Von D from Sephora. And I think this is Beethoven, yep. And I love this palette. I love it, love it, love it. Look at these beautiful colors. These are just gorgeous. I love purples. Um, This color tequila right here, the light color is amazingly beautiful. It does have some sheen. This is a matte brown and matte purple. And I think those are the only mattes. Oh, and then obviously this matte black. And then the shimmery colors aren't too over the top. This is really, really nice. I love this palette and I haven't used it in a while because I've been trying to give my other palettes some love. I got that, I think during the VIB sale. And then this is a Lorac palette mint collection eye and cheek palette i don't know if this was limited edition or not but look at the inside it's so pretty so it's the silver sparkly set but it does come with a, a little cheek blush and then these really pretty oh it's just so beautiful we have matte uh two mattes up here it's just like this really light light beigey brown color it's very very subtle it's like not beigey um, it's like a mauvey brown, but very light. And then this beautiful mint. And then we have a shimmery purple, this sparkly mauvey, not mauve, like taupey color. And then we have these guys. So that's what those look like. Go ahead and swatch those real quick. The lighter ones are on the end, of course. But that's a beautiful, beautiful collection. That is it for my makeup basket. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, let me know in the comments down below what's on your face. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Keek, Facebook, blah, 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 my blog, all of that good stuff. And I will link that all down below. Look at this. I need to close the blinds ridiculous i'm gonna have to stand here while i say bye and that's it and also don't forget guys i have a giveaway going on for my most active subscribers so make sure you're subscribed you thumbs up you share you comment i really just it, you know it's not that i want everyone to follow me it's that i just want people to really embrace this community the community that we had there were some really great women that i've met and become very good friends with so i just want you guys to be blessed like how i am so i'll see you guys in the next one stay beautiful and stay blessed Bye.